I hope that today won't be the last time that you see this pile of dust on my machine because those pieces that I just milled here are for the dust shoes that I will be installing on this spindle. I also made a similar design for this model, the original spindle on the 3018 CNC 775 model. Here are the three pieces that I need and the size of the hole here. I make it like to fit this type of hose on my shop bag. It's a one and a quarter of an inch, so it's about 32 millimeter. If you have different size of hose, you can just change the size of the hose here. You just need to download the design that I share and modify the size. That's it. So let me just take them out, clean them up, and uh, show you how I set them up and install on the spindle. I have here all the pieces to like clean up. So I made one extra of this piece so I can stack them up like this so it will be thicker and you can hold the holes a bit more sturdy. It's up to you, you can use just one piece but for me I think two pieces will be better. So I just want to start with this piece. I have here six of the button magnet. The outer diameter of this is 10 mm. The hole in the middle, it doesn't matter that much. If you have some kind of like small cut or some screw, you can fix this down with this hole. If not, it doesn't matter. You can fix it with some type of glue. For me, I just got to use epoxy. You don't need much of epoxy here, just enough to spread a layer at the bottom of the holes. Okay, so now we just drop one magnet in each hole. Okay, once you drop one magnet in each hole, just use something like round and small, just push it down to the bottom. Now just set it on the side and wait for the epoxy to cure. Next step is onto this piece. You will need six of this type of screw with a hex head and make sure that the outer diameter of this is smaller than 10 mm so you can slide into those holes. And uh, the thickness of this is about 3 or 3.1 mm. Just uh, I'm sure that you can find it very easily in the store. And uh, what I have is one part of an inch hex head. So I just got to screw them down to the holes here. Now I have all the screw installed here. I just need to trim off the extra screw on this side using my Dremel tool or anything just to sand it off. Okay, so I didn't need to trim up the screws all the way to the surface here. I only need to like round up the tips so they are not sharp anymore. The next step is to install these pieces onto this piece. If you use two of them, you will need to glue them together. If you only use one, you can just install it directly on here using some of the M3 bolt. For me, I just want to glue them together first. Okay, so to glue them together, I just want to use some M3 bolt, just slide through here. And I put some glue on this piece. Okay. 
So now you can tighten the bolt and uh, press them together. I just go to use some C clamp and then I just wait for the glue to cure. Okay, so now the glue is set on these pieces. So I just going to install them on here. I just going to use two of the 35mm length uh, M3 bolt. So just get some washer here and slide in the holes. Now I only need to drill one or two holes through here, all the way through, so I can tighten the holes with the bolts that I go through here. I have a lot of M5 bolts, so I just want to use 5mm drill bit. That's it, you don't need to be really precise on this. Now to the shoe making part, the best way to do this probably is just buy a brush strip so you can tape it around here, so make it like a brush underneath here. For me, I don't have it, so I just got to use this strip of a like foam. I just going to try to tape it on here, around like this. And uh, to do this, I just going to use some of the mounting tape. So I just going to wrap around this and trim it to the edge here. And then tape this on. The width of this strip is about 3.5 centimeter. Okay, now I'm just going to try to reinforce this with a piece of duct tape. And I'm just going to use the scissor to divide it into smaller pieces here. So it's like a brush. Now after cutting with the scissor, it actually looks like a brush here and uh, you can see that this piece will be stick on this piece like this, so it's removable and uh, this piece will be fixed on the spindle to fix this one on the spindle, you will need some of the M4 bolt the hole on the spindle is the M4 thread so you can slide them, the bolt in here if you use a 52mm spindle you will need four of those. If you use the original spindle, you only need two. And uh, what you have to pay attention is just the length of the bolt here. Make sure that it doesn't stick too long on this side. Maybe five millimeter or less uh, will be good. So for me, I only have like 20 millimeter bolt. So I just spray it up with some of the nuts here. So on this side, I only have probably five millimeter to stick out on this. So let me just install it on the spindle. This is what it looked like after being installed on the spindle and you can loosen the spindle a little bit so you can change the angle here where you want to install it. Just make sure that you have enough clearance at the back so it doesn't hit anything when you move it up and down. And uh, now I'm just going to try to install the hose here. Okay, so for the hose, I just put some duct tape here. It will act as stopper so I don't push it down too far. It will stop here, right here. And for this part, if the hole is a bit loose in the hole here, I just put one or two layer of duct tape here. So I push it down and I can tighten this. I don't really need it to be too tight, so I can just tighten this by hand. So now it stays really snugly in here and it doesn't move. Now without the shoes on, you can change the bit, do all the probing and stuff, since you have a lot of clearance. Once you are done with that, you can slide the shoes in and uh, slide it up. Uh, stick it to the magnet like this, so it stays snugly in here. 
and then after that you can start milling. Now I'm just going to try to mill something to show you how this dust shoe works. As you can see that there's still some dirt on the piece here but uh, anything that try to fly up it wouldn't be sucked up by the vacuum so it's actually make the air around here a lot cleaner I can actually breathe without using the mask but I'm not really happy with the dust just still sticking on the piece here I think because of the holes here a bit too far away from the bit so it doesn't suck up like right away all the dust just generated by the bit so let me just think of something else just to make the airflow a bit more focused around the bit so make it a bit more efficient. I didn't want to change the design too much so I just made these two extra pieces to be installed on this piece and uh, to install these two pieces you don't even need to take out this piece from the spindle so let me just show you quickly how I install these two pieces on this one. Okay so now on this piece I'm just going to peel off everything that I installed on here this and all the screw and I just got to start from the beginning. Okay, so now everything's of this piece. I just need to glue them all together. So this one will be on top, this one is underneath, and this one is at the bottom like this. To glue them together, it will be nice if you have some of the very long M3 bolts like this. So you can kind of like put them through the holes here to align the pieces together. But if you don't, it's fine. You don't need to be exact. You just try to align them by hand like this. This will be fine.
Okay, so now I just wait for the glue to set. Now the glue is set, I just going to uninstall the bolt here and reinstall the screw back on and then this piece will be ready. Okay, so now let's see how it works. As you can see here, all the airflow will be focused around the bit, so I think that this time it will work a lot better. I think that it works a lot better compared to before. The surface is really clean. Uh, there's some dust in the pocket and the trace here, but it's a lot less compared to the previous version. So I think that the focus airflow around the bit definitely an improvement. And you can make it even better if you stick some type of brush or foam around this tube, make the airflow go closer to the surface to pull the dust up into the hose. And this version of dust shoe is really easy to make. You can make it with your 3018 CNC or 3D printer if you have one. And I definitely recommend you to make this upgrade if you want clean air to breathe to save your lungs.